Well, as the winter months start to drift behind us, one particular trainer driver is starting to come out of hibernation. Caught up with Darren Hancock to discuss his two drives on Saturday night at Club and Angle. Well, Darren, as the temperature starts to rise, we're now going to see you on a more regular basis here at Club and Angle. Yeah, when the weather gets better, I usually get out a bit more. Um, yeah, I try to cut down in winter time. I turn all the babies, I break them in and turn them out and... Uh, most of the racers go out for a while and then we just bring them back in the weather, when the weather gets a bit better, yeah. Right. How are the numbers as far as the youngsters are concerned? Oh, I've got a few there. I've got probably about 10 or 12 in the paddock at home. They were broken in and, um, uh, yeah, there'd be five or six two-year-olds. There'd be five or six um, three-year-olds. So they'll be all back in work in another month or so and then um, i just got a, just a handful of uh, racers coming up now. These days you're virtually a private trainer for Glen Holland. Yeah, well, my mate Glenn, uh, Glenn Holland, he's, uh, yeah, he's, he's gone pretty big in the game. He's, uh, he, he buys a few yearlings and um, he's breeding a few now and he's, uh, he's getting a bit serious. I've got to slow him up a bit. <laughs> we have seen you here on a regular basis as far as check-in is concerned. Very consistent and just needs a little bit of luck. Yeah, just a nice little horse. He's in a good race, sort of probably suits him a bit better than a mile and a half on Saturday night. Um, always runs a decent race, um, gets home good. Yeah, no, he's okay. He's coming off a 4.5 metre fifth behind Little Bliss here last week. He's past four starts, Darren. He's been beaten six metres or less. Yeah, look, he's always there. Um, if he gets the right run, over the mile and a half suits him better. Seems to suit him a lot better. Um, been unlucky a couple of times, just got beat a nose, you know. And, um, yeah, look, he's a nice old horse. He's been around and um, he, he just gets a check all the time, you know. From gate seven, forward or back? I usually go back on him and um, just over the mile and a half will suit him. You know, if they go a bit hard, the middle stages, it'll suit him. He'll get home good. The old wall horse dropped the hammer, the very talented trotter, back in action on Saturday night. He's drawn out wide in race seven. Yeah, drawn out wide. He's first up for a long time. Um, he had a knee operation. Um, he's coming up good. He trialled nice. Uh, you, you know, he's, he's going to need a couple of runs under his belt, but it'll be a good stepping stone on Saturday night just to get around. Yeah, we last saw him action back last October. He finished last, a distant last. He wanted to pace on that occasion when he came out of the gate in the race run by Tough Monarch. Yeah, I can't remember. <laughs> it was that long ago. But, um, yeah, he, he is a pacing bread horse, and he, he has paced a few times. Um, mainly if he gets a check or something, he might turn into a pace. But uh, usually he's pretty good. You know, he's I think he's won 26 or 27 races here. I think he nearly holds the record, so... Um, but he, he seems good and he's coming back good. Yeah, he's had 75 starts at this particular track, Darren. 26 wins all on this particular circuit. In fact, he's 24 placings. Only one of them have been away from this venue as well. Yeah, I think I only took him to Melbourne once, I think, and he, he broke there, I think. So, um, yeah, he's been, a, he's been a lovely horse. He's a nice horse, you know. Um, he's, like I said, he's pacing bread, but he, uh, he tries all the time. And he'll need a couple of runs, don't you know, it's been a long time off the scene. I've only trialled him once. He's had a couple of workouts here, but um, he'll need a run. When did the penny drop, Darren? You wanted to switch him from a pacer to a trotter. Oh, look, he he he, he went around the heat of the derby and he, he could pace. He had a lot of speed. He had a lot of action. And he always showed me he could trot a bit. And one day I went home, I just trotted him around and he just didn't want to break. Um, he was like the other horse. I had Thunder Road, same sort of thing. Um, just one, they, they just tell you they want to trot. And, um, yeah, he just... Just do a better job trotting, you know. So check in, we should definitely have on an each way basis or in the exotics and drop the hammer, maybe wait a run or two. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, drop the hammer. He'll need a run, but he's in the right grade of horses. There's no, I don't think there's any superstars there, so he'll he'll go pretty good. But um, check in's always each way chance, yeah. Yeah, well, Majestic Simon and one Magic Kenny are both going extremely well, both coming off back-to-back -back wins, so they probably look the two major players. Yeah, they're, they're probably the best horse in the race. Um, they're out, I think they're drawn outside me too, so I might be able to just get in front of them. It'll be good, yeah. Well, Darren, good to see you back. Yeah, hopefully I stay back for a while. <laughs> okay, thank you.